I think the business landscape for utilities is radically changing. If you looked back five, ten years, you would see a business model for a utility with assets in the middle of the model. It was an asset-centric business. If you look at the utility business of today and you drew the same model, customers would be right in the middle. Now I think CEOs and their leadership teams really do get that and they're steering their businesses down that route. It's being driven by the regulator as well, but actually the leadership teams of these companies really realise that the number one measure of success is the customer service and the customer experience and how they can ensure their customers get a great service from their businesses. Now that means there's going to be a change in culture, people in these organisations have got to think differently, there's got to be an investment in technology, Digital technology offers some vast opportunities for these businesses. Really, what this is about is changing the way you think about delivering that service and making a real impact to your customers. And I think over the next five years, we're going to see these businesses really drive those changes forward. And customers, I think, will see a difference. Digital transformation for utilities uh, is discussed at length. And I think that digital transformation is more than just a few apps or revamping the website. Uh, I always say that actually digital starts with people and it ends with people and it's the technology that enables a colleague to do a better job or a customer to get a better service from the company. So thinking about a customer journey and the emotions they go through if they're changing a dress, if they're querying a bill and then thinking about how that customer wants to actually interface with you by phone, by email, by text. Um, think about that and then provide the technology so that they can then feel comfortable in how they, they work with you. If you look at utility businesses, CEOs need to also focus on colleague journeys just as much as customer journeys. By a colleague journey, I mean work crews that receive a job, get in the van, drive to the job, pull out the information to fix the job, complete the job, inform the centre that they've completed the job and get the next job. That's a colleague journey. If the CEO can really digitise that and play technology correctly, you can streamline that, you can make the job for the work crew far easier, far, far easier to get the job done first time, which actually then plays back to the customer, you get the customer a better service. CEOs really can see some massive opportunities over the next five years to transform their businesses and technology digital technology offers some great opportunities. You know, work is not where you go, it's what you do these days. And with new technology, you can create a far more mobile workforce. In creating that mobile workforce, there are hidden benefits. You can reduce your accommodation costs because people now can work at home or go into certain areas. Uh, also, you can attract greater talent. If I look at the new generation coming through, these people actually want to be mobile. They want to be able to work at home or at different locations. So it gives you the opportunity to attract new talent and retain great talent as well. And if you can retain great people, you can have a great business. I think in the utility sector, the companies uh, are facing a period of transition. So we're actually at a point where things are all moving. Competition is coming in, the need for innovation in how we deliver services and efficiencies needed in the way we operate. I'd summarise it up as a fantastic opportunity to really transform your business, transform the way you work and move your teams and your organisations towards facing the customer and delivering a great experience. I think these are absolutely pivotal times, it's an inflection point and if organisations don't grasp that they're going to be disrupted to the bottom of the pack or out of business.